All right, Shalom, first and foremost, all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harachakwadash, double unto our apostles, the bishops, the elders of the great millstone, who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, much love unto you, hopeful elect. Shalom unto you. Let me brush your with a quick video here. Well, it may be a little longer than quick, but I'm trying to keep it as concise as possible, but I can't ignore the spirit. If it moves and keeps going, I'm going to roll with it, Lord willing. Uh, it'll be edifying, all right? And um, I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to read it. I was reading through this, and then um, uh, an idea, you know, the Spirit hit me to to edify, um, to, to go into this word, which uh, I'll read it and get to it. It says, blessed, this is Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be Yahweh, even the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the Father of mercies, and the power of all comfort it says in the god of all comfort right who comforteth us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble this is in the kjv of course right and by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of yahweh all right as for as the sufferings of hamashiach abound in us so our consolation also abounded in let's get by you Hamashiach all right and that's the word consolation we're going to keep reading though it says and whether we be afflicted it is for your consolation and salvation okay which is effectual in the enduring of the same suffering which we also suffer or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Okay, because we know it says, uh, and I'm sure that I have a precept or two that'll that'll pop up. But um, a man is known, a man is tried uh, in the furnace of adversity. Okay, and that's that's how we have to be. That's how we know that this is the things that comfort us. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go. Let me read a little more, then I'll go to it. Yeah, it's still going. It says that our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall be also of the consolation. And so if we, we deal with the afflictions and the, and, and, and the sufferings, we also can be consoled or, or get consolation with salvation. Which is the, the the righteous path to move upon upon, right? So let me grab this. Romans five. I probably had it in the other chat in the other um, app, but this is Romans five. I'll start at verse one. It's a result of justification. Faith brings joy in the NLT. It says, Therefore we uh, being justified by faith, we have peace with our power through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, because we believe and we step out on faith with our works. All right. It says by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. And this grace is basically not going to penalize us. Um, and it says here, uh, undeserved privilege, right? This grace that we have won't be counted against us. Okay. When we, when we make since, you know, honest and sincere and genuine mistakes, you know, trying to catch them and, and repent from those things as best we can if we can you know and ask them for forgiveness for those we can't control you know but it says um access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of yahweh and the difference is we get the consolation but jake they're trying to get their consolation now rich jake trying to get their count they already have their reward they already have their consolation okay it says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation also. So when we go through shit, we glory in that. That's part of our consolation that, that, hey, we're doing this for the right reasons. We're suffering for the right reasons. Okay. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience, right? Because there's a process of re refinement that's happening here, right? And patience experience and experience hope. And hope make it not ashamed because the love of Yahweh is shed abroad in our hearts, but in our minds, right? Because we have a different peace now, okay? Knowing that when these tough things come, 
the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai will rest upon us, Lord willing that wisdom as well will, will rest upon us all the way to the end and comfort us all the way throughout with the with the with the power and the spirit and and and, and, and you know and um uh, you know like we'll be able to eat and well there's no food okay we'll be and so on and so safe when others are in danger all right as the scriptures say it says uh in our hearts by the holy spirit uh, holy ghost which is given unto us okay yeah that was that point so let's go into um the definition of the word consolation okay it says to comfort excuse me it says the comfort this is in the um oxford languages under google it says uh, the comfort received by a person after a loss or disappointment and what's that loss and disappointment that we couldn't keep it the law statute and commandments perfectly and that there's a destruction coming okay and we catch l's on this side i mean that's in a nutshell what it is man I mean, this is just a life of constant L's, you know, being because be, we're under these curses, man. And, we, and, and we, we effed up, so we got to deal with the, the punishments that come along with this. One, you know, you, you look around and you see all these other people. I'll just leave it at that, you know, with these nations of people, even your own people that are just winning on this side. OK, and if you didn't know of the prophecy of, of, of peril to come. And it looks like you just meant to lose and they just meant to win. Like you just walk around with a with a dark cloud over your head while they get to bask in the sunshine of life, right? Well, this L that we've taken, there's a consolation for walking through the straight gate. Okay, and that's the difference between the straight gate and the Broadway. Okay, the straight gate is going to be difficult. You're going to catch L's and you're going to catch, you know, situations uh, of, 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 of losing. Okay. While everybody else around you seems to be winning, but when you dig deeper into the the moral compass of the people that are winning, it's they're wicked. Whether they're Jakes, whether they're Edomites, whether they're the other nations. Okay? Like it says in Amos, uh, only you of the families of the earth have I known, therefore I will punish you for your uh, iniquities. Okay? So we get punished for doing wrong where the other ones wasn't under the covenant. But when we correct ourselves and repent and humble down, hey, we come into this grace and then we, we we eventually get the consolation right it says uh the comfort received by a person after a loss or disappointment it used a sentence there was consolation in knowing that others were worse off and that's the and funny that's a good statement because further further down the line that's going to be the case right now we're we look like the losers you know but when jacob's trouble hit and you know that's when you're gonna see the difference, man. That's when you're gonna see the difference. Once the, when when World War Three, um, and, and the nukes are shot off at America, and the elector being beamed up, the elector's gonna have that consolation, man. There, that's when you win. You win in the you win at the end, man. You don't win in the now. Okay. It says comfort, solace, sympathy, pity, commiseration, but bunch of moral support and the moral support. Is what we getting out of out of the out of the spirit out of this word the comforter and that's why the, the word is called a comforter, okay? From uh, Ma uh, Matthew to, uh, John the fifteenth chapter, fourteen fifteen, uh, right up in there it says uh, a personal theme providing comfort to a person who has suffered, okay? Suffering and that's that's one word, and there should be other words uh, with that uh, used in a sentence. There should be scriptures with, with that word suffered in it. <clears throat> we'll get that, Lord willing, we'll get that. It says, um, the church is used in a sentence. The church was the main consolation in a short and hard life. Okay? And that's what this feels like. Uh, in the U.S. sports, uh, a round or contest for tournament entrants who have been eliminated before the finals, often to determine third and fourth place. So you win the consolation prize okay in sports all right so it's, it's still being able to win a higher rank though you lost with one of the first losers okay so it says see console yep that's the consolation all right console it says um um yeah comfort someone at a time of grief or disappointment 
And when Jacob's trouble hits, man, that's when the elect are going to have their consolation. Now, the consolation will begin with, the, as we read in, in Romans, the fifth chapter, the ability to persevere and endure the, the things that are, that are happening. And then the Spirit will provide the things that we lack. Okay, while the two-thirds in the other nations will be getting jacked up, man. Okay, so that's where we'll have what they the ones that have been winning now. It says the last shall be first and the first shall be last. That's when we'll win. We're going to win at the end, man. Okay, and that should comfort you. That should be a consolation to you. You should feel better about the overall goal, especially for you, you, you brothers and sisters that are just coming in. You should be able to look at this thing and be like, damn, I'm, I'm supposed to take the L on this one, which we see some of these teachers in their in their in their um, churches, you know, the other um, groups out there where where the 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 mentality is to win now. Oh, we got to build a kingdom in Esau's kingdom. We got to build our we got we got to um, we got to win and we got to get money. and We got to have big numbers and it's a popularity contest and and all these different things. I need street cred to. To back me up and, and solidify what I'm talking about. Okay. You have all these situations happening. But hey, at the end of the day. We'll, we'll be the most hated. We'll be the lowest looking group. But when people come for the answers. They know where to show up. Okay. They know that Great Millstone is going to leave no stone unturned. For, 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 the, for the truth of this word man. Things that are, are, are that attend unto salvation. Okay. It says comfort someone at a time of grief or disappointment used in a sentence. It says she tried to console him, but he pushed her gently away. All right. Condole, solace, give condolences. I mean, you had a loss, but you're being comforted after a loss. Uh, with soothe, con and solari. Okay, with soothe. Okay, to be soothed, right? It says uh, with, with soothe, yeah. In the Latin, okay, French, console two. Oh, that's something else. That's a console. That's something else. Like video games and shit. Yeah, that's not what we want. Um, but yeah. So let's let's see if I got some precepts that are uh, uh, to go with this. This is Matthew nineteen, verse twenty seven. Then Peter, then answered Peter and said unto him. Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? We 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 gave up and we took L's. What should we have forsaken everything? What shall we therefore be con consoled with? Right? And Yahweh shall I said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the region because when you become a prophet, it was understood in ancient times that you were being sentenced to death, that the people would hate you, they would mistreat you, they would misuse you. Okay, and and it ended in a life of grief, and 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 you lead at the the hands of death at the hands of of men. Okay, it said um, that you would follow me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of His glory. Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, and everyone that had forsaken houses. These are the things that the people went with this list. I feel like they 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 got wins with this, right? Forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake. You know, and that's money and all that as well. Right? For my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Yeah, I read 30 also. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So those that are winning now. They won't have a consolation. They've already received their consolation. And, and the scriptures tell you um, in Sirach the uh, 11th chapter, prosperity of an hour maketh the man forget his, his uh, I mean, the, the um, let me grab it. It says, uh, in the day of, of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. In the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. Okay, so all the prosperity, prosperity that they're getting now, they're not going to remember. Okay, when they're being afflicted, coming into Jacob's trouble. But we, that we're catching the affliction now, in the day of prosperity, man, we're gonna we're not gonna remember the um the affliction that we went through of all the things that we've been slandered and, and, and defamed with in these times, right? 
Second edge is 14, and I just jumped, I just, a bunch of them came to mind. I just jumped, threw a bunch of them together, but second edge is 14, verse 13. Now, therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people, correct them, right? Uh, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. Okay, how do we comfort them that be in trouble? We show them the righteous way to stop uh, going off, and then we comfort them with the rewards, with the with the with the most highest promise of rewards to come. Okay, it says, "Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature." And that's part of the the L's we take, man. We take L's in this flesh. Okay, this flesh sucks, man. You get old, and you know you still be a young man, but any injury, any anything that's if you didn't understand how certain foods, you know, you, you eat fast food as a, as a teenager and a child and you get to be a young man and or woman or whatever. And, and now you got ailments, you know, dealing with this life and this devil uh, ruling in this life. Then you work and, you know, sometimes you you got to do this back breaking work and, and your body. It takes eventually takes a toll on you. OK, so that's that's the L. But we know at the end of this, man, getting the new bodies, getting um, being upgraded and, and so on and so forth. Hey, man, taking off these chains of darkness. I think I got that in here somewhere. But getting rid of these chains of darkness, man, that's a consolation. OK, so your mind can be at ease. Right. It says, uh, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times for yet greater evils than those which thou hast ha seen happen shall be done hereafter but to know that there's a comfort for the elect amen that's your consolation right you see that was pretty much the point i believe let me glance through it yep i'll read a little more 17 uh look for look how much the world shall be weaker with age through age so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein, right? For the time is, is, is fled far away, and leasing is at is hard at hand, and now hasteth the vision to come. And now we we look on, we're, we're comforted by the vision to come as these as the, the the signs of these prophecies are coming to pass, and we're measuring the time. Man, we get excited, we get comforted by that, we get consoled by that, right? Which thou hast seen, okay? Acts fourteen twenty two. Gotta hit this one. Confirming the souls of the of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, right? You exhort others to continue in the faith because it reaps a reward, okay? And that's the consolation. Yeah, you endure the hardships that come, the afflictions that come, the tribulation that comes, the temptations that come. But when you make it through that, hey, there's a consolation for you salvation and the upgrade and the come down new jerusalem okay it says uh to continue in the faith that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of heaven and and that's a consolation knowing that hey i'm comforted knowing that these afflictions are happening to me because i'm on the righteous path i'm on the straight i'm, I'm walking the straight gate okay and that's how we should be um looking at this thing we're we're, we're walking the straight gate to make it to the kingdom of heaven we have the greatest opportunities you know when you live this thing sincerely all right these other groups man and their leaders you can see what their motivations are so if you're following them are you on the straight and narrow so to speak okay which is the way to the kingdom of heaven or are you following somebody that's that, that's uh distracted by, by by the now by the prosperity of now Okay, but by, by temporal things of the now, by things of the flesh of the now. All right. First Corinthians four and um, nine. Yep. For I think that the Most High has set forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels and to men. We are fools for Hamashiach's sake. But ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. And being despised and, and weak and looking like fools, some people can't deal with that. Well, we endure that, that we may be 
uh, strengthened and, 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 and consoled and comforted for the for the for the time to come. Because these traits and attributes are the things that we're gaining, the character we're, we're gaining, the integrity we're gaining, holds weight in in in, in Jacob's trouble for the elect. Okay, where all the blessings of 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 eating and drinking and being comforted and being safe and being leagued with the field, the stones of the field and the beasts of the field and so on and so forth. Man, those things are, are, are wonderful to us, but to the rest of the people that, that, that aren't um, walking that path, man, it's going to be destruction unto you. All right. It says even unto this present hour, we are, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place else right and labor working with our own hands being reviled we bless being persecuted we suffer it being defamed we entreat we are made as the filth of the world and are the offscoring of all things until this day i write not these things to shame you but my beloved sons i warn you okay he gave us the the, the comfort and the consolation okay he gave us the comforting words that this is the right path stay on it this is what comes with this I'm warning you that this is what comes with this, but this is the way to the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Second, excuse me, Ecclesi Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, chapter 2. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. And if you really get into this word, man, it, it's comforting. Watching the thing that, that past men have, have, have been able to accomplish when they were righteous and even seeing what the wicked were doing and how they were punished. Okay. And there's always a lot of, Paul wrote a lot of encouraging words to the churches, man. Okay. That they will be comforted in those times as well as that message continues on to us in these times. Okay. It says, set that heart right, get your mind right to endure. Matter of fact, before I finish this one, let me get First Peter 4 and 1. It says, for as much as Hamashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. That's what it's talking about in Sirach. That you arm yourself with the same mind. Okay, set thy heart aright. Get your mind right. Okay, because your heart uh, goes back to the Hebrew word lab, which means your mind. Uh for he had for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin okay and that's what we have to do we have to a matter of fact if i jump down um to verse 12 beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of hamashiach's sufferings okay the same way he was, he suffered. We have to suffer. Yeah, you take L's, man. We don't. We're not gonna be beaten to the degree he was, but you know, some some may see death as well as a martyr. You know, we will be defamed. We will be hunted and 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 uh, fugitives for 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 righteousness' sake. Okay, uh, that when his glory shall be revealed that ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And that's the consolation and the comfort right there. Okay, that when his glory is revealed, we may be glad with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of Yahweh resteth upon you. Okay, so you're, you're, you're comforted and consoled with that. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Okay. Real quick in this one, Matthew 5, then I'll head back to Sirach. It said, uh, rejoicing. Matter of fact, I'll start up. Yep. I mean, this whole chapter goes. But I want to go to 10. It said, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sakes, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you. Why? Because you do righteous things, man. Because you believe in a righteous way and that you conduct yourself righteously. Okay? And honestly, it says, uh, And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. Meaning we don't do things that the ministry be blamed, man. We, 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 we stay with the simple life, man. You know? It's not a hard life to live to be righteous, man. You know, it just takes concentration 
and devotion and attentiveness, man, and uh, and acknowledging of your offenses and, and correcting those things, right? For my uh, falsely for my sake, rejoice and be exceeding glad, for greater is your reward in heaven, the consolation. For so persecuted they the prophets that were before you. Okay, this is the rites of passage to get to the kingdom of heaven, man. We should be consoled with that idea. We're all taking these L's is the righteous way to the kingdom of heaven. Okay, and these L's aren't like, man, I've gotten to this fight arguing with this Jake, man, and then he whooped my ass, man. Not that type of L. I'm talking about the L's of, of things just not working out like it works out for the people of the world. It's said in um, 1 John 4 and 4, Ye are of Yahweh, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That's consolation, right? Consoled with this, comforted with this. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hear them. Okay? They, they're they winning now because the world hears them. Because they're they're evil, man. But it's going to say, we are of Yahweh. He that knoweth Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, heareth us. Uh, he that is not of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. We see the difference in, in, in how we move and how the others move. Okay, and we we are consoled or have cons consolation to be comforted and still get a win at the end. Okay? Back to Sirach 2, I'll start at the top again. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Hey, go through it because it yielded the peaceable fruit when you're chastised, okay? These L's are for a reason, okay? It's, it builds our character and, and, and helps us in the end, man, okay? And then you are, are, are sharing your, your 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 story or your your experience with other brothers that are building them up. And some get to live it vicariously and don't have the same pitfalls that you may have had, okay? And vice versa, all right? It says, cleave unto him, depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. That's the consolation, being increased. Okay? With wisdom, with the Holy Spirit moving in you, and, 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 and with the new bodies, man. Okay? Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient with our change to a low estate. That low estate sucks, man. That's the L. Okay? Yeah, we're first time losers, man, but we're two time winners. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I think it does. In the first go around, we, we lose in this life, but in the next life, we get the W, man. At the end of this life, we get the W. Okay, it says, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. I've been referencing that throughout the lesson, right? 2 Corinthians 4, I start at verse 7, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power of may be of Yahweh and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. It's consolation, man. We're not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Okay? How great is that? Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our body. Okay? Consolation, man. We win at the end. Because Yahushai was got the consolation as well. Okay? He took the L's. Okay? And they put him to death. Beat him and put him to death and, and persecuted him and spoke all crazy about him. He died. He came back three days later uh, with, with the glory. Okay? Then he went back to the Father. And when he comes back, he's going to take the kingdom. All right? And deliver his his elect. It says, um, yep, uh, verse 11, for we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith according as it is written, uh, I believed. And therefore I have spoken, we also believed and therefore speak. Okay, and that and, and, and those things that we believe we speak, man, and we believe 
we will win at the end, man. If this is that we're gonna get the win when it really matters, man. Okay. Though we take these L's now, we know we win at the end of this thing. And and the L's, let, let me be clear about this. The L's, even though we've begun to take L's, the L's are still coming. The L's are still coming. Lots of stress, and we're gonna watch a lot of people that aren't uh, built for this thing, so to speak, are gonna fold. And they're going to take the uh, a bigger L later. Okay? So it says, and uh, got to start up. I love I love this chapter, 2nd Andrew 16, um, 67. Behold, Yahweh himself is the judge. Fear him and leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. That's the consolation, man, to be led from all trouble. And now, yeah, we, we're navigating. We're trying to minimize the L's we take. But, hey, you still got to take L's, you know, until until you don't, <laughs> uh, right? But you got to stay in the spirit. It says, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. We know that there's a, a major L coming, man. The defamation and the persecution of the elect. Or as in Revelation, of the woman. When they wear out the saints, right? It says, um, and they shall take away certain of you. And feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So the L's are still coming, right? And we're being built up with the L's we take now to, to deal with the and endure the L's that we'll take that will uh, when when uh, uh, the more the greater L's that are coming. And endure those as well to get the um, the prize at the end. So they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and then and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Right? Hear ye, O my beloved, and that fire is the males, right? Uh, that grief that comes with it, right? Beloved, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, Behold, I, the days of trouble are at, are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Okay, and that's the consolation, man. We got to be comforted in a time of grief, knowing that the, the, the perils are coming. But we'll, what the hell? Anyway, knowing that the perils are coming and we'll be comforted through, through them. I think I got one more. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Therefore... Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Okay, and and when you please him, we know that we we get the uh, we're comforted by the word and 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 will be of the elect chosen. Okay, and, and that I have to say, Lord willing. So also, Lord willing, this was edifying. I just want to kind of go into that word. And I was reading through um, first uh, Second Corinthians chapter one, and it was like, let me get into this consolation because it's another way to say comfort. We're comforted another way. We know the Comforter is here, and these words that Paul wrote are comforts to us. The promises are comfort uh, comforts to us, and and watching the history of what happened is a comfort unto us. That that we will win. In the, matter of fact, I do have one more. See here. Um, yeah, Deuteronomy 30, it says, And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord Yahweh have driven thee, and shall return unto the Lord Yahweh thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. And we can't do it all. Until we have the second covenant is initiated. We're made perfect and is written within us, right? Um, this day that thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul. Uh, that then the Lord Yahweh thy power will turn the captivity, thy captivity and have compassion upon thee. Compassion. Well, I think one of the synonyms that went under console as well as comfort was, right? Um 
and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord Yahweh thy power have scattered thee. And if any of thine be driven out into the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord Yahweh thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Right? I love that word fetch there. It says, And the Lord Yahweh thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord Yahweh thy power will circumcise thine heart. This is that new covenant, right? And the heart of thy seed to love the Lord Yahweh, thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. And the Lord Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Okay. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord Yahweh and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. Okay. So, and I mean, and the blessings continue on, you know. So, Lord willing, this comforted you. This was another comfort video. I like to try to have some comforts within the videos, not just destruction, all bad prophecy coming. But, hey, that is the message, and that is the righteous path to know and understand it, that Jacob's trouble, our temptations, so on, you know, famine, pestilence, the sword, all these things, World War Three, all these things are coming. But be comforted that they're coming and that if you're in good standing by doing the righteous works of Yahweh on that straight and narrow path, that you will be consoled, man, that you'll get the consolation at the end of this thing. Okay, you'll get the power, the glory, the promises, all these things come back to us, man. Okay, and the Holy Spirit will guide us through to get to that moment that the salvation comes. So Lord willing, this is edifying, giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh Yahweh. Bashim Rahakudash until the next one. Say Shalom.